Tell me what you built. Uh, so we have built a Flappy Bird player. So this oh. game got fairly popular this year. And what we wanted to do is uh, we wanted to make the FPGA kit play this game. All right, so so we have a phone. so we have a Jurassic. Uh, this is a, a D one one five. Yeah, and and the GPO GPO port is uh, connected to to an IC four zero six S, which basically controls and basically shorts the phone screen to the ground. I mean, giving the effective capacitance to tap. I see. So there's so there's a there's a capacity of electrode under the body of the phone. I can just barely see up there. Yeah, and then there's a penny over the button. And when the when the when the switch is turned on, it uh, acts like a finger touching the button. Exactly. It basically grounds the penny with. And then there's a television camera on a frame here, which is then going over to the the big screen here, showing some measurement uh, uh, lines on the screen. And so the idea here is that the 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 VGA, the the the, the, the VGA doesn't actually. Do the, anything. I'm sorry. The, the yeah, color is the the the, the 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 VGA watches the game on on the television camera. The the computer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The FPGA watches yeah. the watches the game on the on the TV, and then attempts to play it. Yeah. The the camera writes to a yeah. Nike Pro. Yeah. The, the, we have this compute unit that reads the MIK block and decides when to tap. Right. And this VGA is merely a display for. Uh, right. right. This, this, this is for debugging. The, uh, this yeah. is debugging display. Yeah. Okay. So let's see it. Uh, let's see it go here. So the bird reliably stays in the air, but when it sees the first pipe, it has like trouble finding the middle. So what we're trying to do is that we're trying to find the middle of the pipe between. The middle between the two pipes, and you have to do some sort of prediction because because yeah, so it's quite fast. It's quite fast, and and, and the, the prediction, and the, the black line that's moving oh. together. Oh, oh it's so almost, close. almost got through. Our best score is three, <laughs> <laughs> three, three pipes. I yeah, can't even beat that. I was gonna say, <laughs> bam. So this line over here is basically a threshold which are given using our switches, which is going to be a default threshold. And then the dotted lines which you see here and there, it's going to be the threshold dependent on the pipes. So we have a mechanism which scans along this line for the bird. And the moment the bird is detected, this seeker is going to detect this pipe. And then there's going to be another module which is going to detect the edge of this pipe. Based on that, it's going to detect a threshold because the distance between the two pipes is always fixed. So we are... Uh, setting it up somewhere in between the two pipes and the bird is going to follow wherever that threshold is going to be. Are you always wow. double tapping it? Uh, okay, so for that uh, we are having a mechanism where based on the d distance between the bird and the threshold so if the distance is going to be say 50 units it's going to tap twice, if it's 25 it's going to tap once and so on. So I just missed the time it yeah, went through there. It went, it went through there, you can see it. Okay. one point. Yeah, got one point. It went through pretty well. Ah, it's yeah. <laughs> it's lucky. So the FPGA thinks once every tenth of a second. Yeah. So by thinking, we mean does all the scanning and tries to compute. Change. Is that a constraint or is that what you chose? Uh, uh, that's the best optimum point yeah. for you know computing and uh, tapping because if you have multiple taps, it's not going to be detected anyway. Oh, so I see. what I we see. did is uh, we tried to test it uh, with different frequencies of tapping, and what we observed is it taps reliably if the distance between two taps is 100 milliseconds. So so that's how we're trying to ha maintain that distance between two taps. So mm -hmm. it can maximum tap by t uh, maximum tap 10 times in, in a second. Hmm. Wow, it's not clear what the what the control strategy should be, is it? Yeah. I think uh, because the video rate is very fast and then the updates are happening in time, but the debugs that we are seeing on screen is not fast enough as to what is actually happening on FPGA. So sometimes it's, it's quite delayed, but it's actually doing what it is supposed to do uh, with respect to all the scanning. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. a pretty reliable. So the difficulties with the algorithm right now. Yeah. 
getting it's trained just, because there are so many variables and yeah. because we are doing everything in hardware yeah. so every time we think of a new change to make to the algorithm there's a lot of hardware to change right yeah well and it's inherent to the game that you only get out of playing it is the acceleration and deceleration are very large yeah, and if a single pixel hits any of the pipe it's you lose yeah that's right so you know this algorithm could yeah, very well work on a less difficult game you know if the pipes were always wider apart that that's true wider and one more, one more one more issue is that do it. Uh, we are having the score points here so sometimes when you are detecting the pipe this might interfere so that's why we started to scan from the bottom but then there was one more issue where all these clouds and buildings were getting detected and and there's also like this a uh, day mode and night mode so during the night mode all the stars are also getting oh man uh, okay. <clears throat>